join me behind my TV? I know, it's a little bit of a weird place to put your Ajax alarm hub, but it's where my router is. I didn't want to mount it to the wall. And so this is where it resides. Um, if someone's break in and rip it off, it's still set the tamper off, so it's, it's doing its job. We are going to look at today two things really. Uh, we're going to be installing the new Hub 2, yeah, strong name, um, from the Hub 1. Uh, thank you to Smart AV Distribution for providing this for us. Uh, we like to test out our kit before we deploy it on site, so um, we've had the Ajax alarm in our house and in our office for the last six months, maybe a bit longer. Um, so the guys there sent me through the new hub, so then we can test out the motion cam. Um, the motion cam allows for pictures to be sent to your phone if there is alarm conditions, so pretty cool stuff. Now, to swap the Hub 2 over from the Hub 1, I thought might be a case of just swapping the config files over. It's not as simple as that, I'm afraid. Um, we have to start afresh with the Hub 2 and unpair the devices from the Hub 1. Now, it's not the end of the world. It takes, I mean, we don't have a lot of PIRs and sensors in this house, um, but it takes probably a couple of minutes per device. Bit of a pro tip here. Get your labeler out, you know I love a labeler. Label the back of the PIRs and the sensors with where they're located. Bring them all to one location. And once you get the app and the hub set up, you can just scan them in, literally what they need, where they need to be, um, where they need to be located on the app. And then once everything's set up, you can literally go around, mount them in the rooms. It's the quickest way to do it. Don't try and set everything into the right location, set the hub up and then go around to each one. An idea, it's just a waste of time. So yeah, that's the plan. We'll get this hub to up and running and then we'll get the motion can up and then we'll see what that's about and see what difference it makes to our alarm system and our security system. So let's cut to that. That's our version two hub installed. What that now allows us to do is fit our motion cam very similar to a normal alarm PIR, maybe a touch bigger, but it also includes the camera. The little black ring down the bottom there. Yeah, hello. Um, we're gonna be installing this just above our heads here, facing our front door. In fact, we can install this anywhere in our house and pretty much pick up our front door, it's so small. But it's super simple to install. All you need to be doing is click off the back plate, fix this back plate to the wall. Obviously it's got uh, templates for screw fixings and then once you've paired your PIR up to the system, click back on, slide down, done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's get it up on the wall. on the wall so all we have to do now is pair the system super duper simple all we have to do is get this turned on get it paired up to the app and then pow we're ready to roll so first of all find the big on button on the rear of here press it goes green it says hello I'm here I'm ready to talk to someone then all we're looking for is a QR code on the rear of here and then scroll to our app add a device and then look for the QR scanner which is here oh hello me twice and then if we scan that, come on, oh, there we go, done. So that's it. We have to just give it a name. So we call it kitchen camera. Give it a room. These should be already um, installed when you put the hub in. So kitchen, lounge, so this is the kitchen. And then the group. Now in our house, it's teeny tiny. So we only have one group, which is the, the house. But let's say you had outbuildings or a garage, you can add those as separate groups, allowing you to unset and set different parts of the house or your outbuildings depending on what level of security you want. So let's say the car cleaner comes around to sort of to clean your cars and he can unset that part of the house or that garage and your house is still secure and under alarm. So top tip for any of you tradesmen. Now if you have an Ajax system installed in your house 
install one of these cameras or these PIRs in the rear of your van as a separate group and if your van gets broken into it will notify you as an alarm notification on your phone and if you've got the camera it will give you images of the inside of your van and yeah, that's pretty cool and something I think I definitely will be doing so that's it as simple as that and that's how long it probably takes five minutes to install each device uh, in every room so really quick to deploy and I think we should have a quick look at how those images get sent from when there's an alarm notification onto your phone. So on activation of the break-in, when the sensor has picked up movement, it sends you a series of animated images to your mobile device, as shown here. So now you know it's not your dozy in-laws that have forgotten you actually own an alarm, and actually it's Pat Sharp from the 80s trying to steal your arts and crafts collection. It's time to call the police. But why did we choose the Ajax system for our tiny tech home? Well firstly, time. From start to finish this took less than two hours. None of that running wires, programming up a traditional system, most of the time was spent getting the tools out the van. Secondly, battery life. Seven years. That's all needs to be said for that. You also get the same protection and monitoring as a traditional system. So live updates on your phone if something happens, but also the option to have a third party monitoring station look after your property. Finally, it's smart. That's the point of this channel. You know, we're looking to integrate this system into a third party control system in the future. So stay tuned for that. Speaking of next week, to the absolute joy of my wife, we'll be changing the light and control system again. Um, we'll be looking at Lutron RA2. So hit subscribe and I'll see you next week.